Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to overlay a video and do chroma key on that overlay. Uh, in order to do that you need a software with, uh, with the chroma key feature and also the overlay. Not every software available on, on the internet can do that. Um, not even some of, some of the software that is paid does it. But I actually found uh, pretty decent software and it's, it's free. So the software is called VSDC Free Video Editor and uh, it's totally free. I will leave a link on the description. This is the software. As you can see here, VSDC Free Video Editor. I just click New Project. I know my videos, uh, one of it is uh, Full HD, so I set this to this resolution. I have a lot more here. I know it's the playback rate is 30 frames. This is my audio quality. Just gonna start a blank project. This is the layout of it. So I have my timeline here. I have my add video, add sound, add image. I could add some shapes, text, whatever I want to add to the screen. So right now I'm just gonna add f my first video. It's actually cycling at the beginning of a climb it's only a 30 seconds as you can see here I could put the small video over here and then play it over here this software is it's quite nice because you can adjust the size of your video quite easily and match it to the screen or um, make it oversize or whatever you need to do just gonna do this so this is our first video I'm just gonna add the second one it's this one this time I'm not gonna add this full screen I'm just gonna add a little bit this is actually my a video with my GPS data my speed my altitude and uh, heart rate bigger just in order for you to see okay we have our overlay you can see the speed and the altitude it's changing the heart rate is not changing that much I'm gonna shorten this in order to match the video on the back so Right now we need to um, to remove the background on this one. So this is this is called the chroma key. The chroma key feature is uh, removing a background color, and usually it's green. Uh, it's used on the special effects. Um, you might have seen uh, some special effects, uh, some actors doing some some acting with a green background, and basically this is about the same except in this case we're gonna remove it and uh, on the movies they add things they had the scenery they had the terrain whatever they want to so in order to remove this we click on the video 2 I'm gonna adjust this just because this is my playback I want it to be playback from here to here put this over here in the beginning so click video 2 and watch this tab as I click video 1 it changes click video 2 and this is important you click video 2 click tab and click on the, on the effect otherwise this would be grayed and you could not select them so I'm just gonna click transparent background remover my work area and and you have the background removed you go back to the scene but before we go I'm gonna show you here you can adjust the chroma key to be more sensitive or whatever as you can see I have green digits here if I set this to too much they will start to disappear so I don't want them to disappear I want them to stay there just gonna put this around 20 we go back to the scene and we have our our software with our overlay 
end with the chroma key. It's very very simple. It's not hard at all with this software. It's very 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 easy to do and uh, it's free. That's the best part of it. Once again I'm gonna adjust this. As I say this will be my playback. I wanted to do the playback from here to here. So in order to create the final video with my GPS data overlaid on top of my my camera video just click on the round icon build project or press F7 it's the same it's gonna pop up a window with some quality profiles I'm gonna show you all so you have all of these profiles depending on the settings you can have more quality or less quality usually I do a simple encoding max quality uh, I actually did an edit to this profile I changed the bitrate to 10,000 uh, to avoid losing some, some of the quality and then you just you can choose the, the file type and you click convert I'm just gonna start the conversion here just for you to see I'm not gonna wait for it uh, to finish um, since this software it's the only let's say bad thing it's not a bad thing because it, it works uh, it could be very 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 good if it had um, the graphic cards to, to do the encoding of the um, of the of the videos because right now it's only using CPU and it only uses CPU so as you can see the frame rate is very very slow it's 2.6 frames per second so it's rendering at 2.6 frames per second so if one second has 30 frames you can imagine how long that is going to take for instance in a 15 minutes uh, video it takes quite a while so as you can see it's very easy to do an overlay and do a chroma key I hope you enjoyed it remember to subscri subscribe and I'll see you later